All right, so one of, the, one of the goals of the health department is to make sure everyone has access to COVID-19 vaccine. And with today's focus being uh, the elderly population and those individuals with underlying or qualifying medical conditions, we want to make sure that they have the, um, they don't have any barriers to get to uh, uh, the vaccination clinic. And so we've been working with transportation providers across the city of St. Louis to make that, to make um, it easier for those individuals to get to this location to make their appointments so they can receive their COVID-19 vaccine. So transportation today is being provided by the Southside Wellness Center and the Five Star Senior Center. Um, they've done an amazing job getting um, our elderly um, clients to and from um, their vaccination appointments. And I would like to encourage the St. Louis community to become protected because it's just a little stick. You wait for 15 minutes to see if you have any reactions because the reactions occur within 15 minutes to an hour. And uh, I feel very blessed to have had the vaccine today and be protected from the coronavirus. Oh, well, I didn't have no, no, no side effects or anything, you know. The ladies took me, I was wondering, is it over with already? You know, it's, it was wonderful. Well, I hope everybody wake up one day and realize that this is the best, this is the best choice, you know. Go, go stick with the president. The president said in the next 100, uh, 100 days, he wants the country vaccinated. So I'm riding, with, I'm riding with Joe Biden. I had a very good experience. I was initially afraid, uh, you know, just listening to all the information you get from TV, other people that you're talking to. It was not bad at all. Uh, I think I only worked up my own anxieties for no reason at all. The shot was not bad. It didn't hurt. And uh, I sat for my 15 minutes. I feel fine. I chose to get vaccinated because I'm considered high risk and I just wanted, you know, to not give it to somebody else. And we've had a couple of deaths at, our, at some co-workers and it's real. My husband, ex-husband has diabetes and my brother has diabetes and he hasn't left the house in over a year. So I just wanted, you know, this to be over. There's so many people dying. And uh, I know we all got to die, you know, but sometimes you can try to prevent it, live a little longer. And I believe this shot will help you. The uh, man in our building, he called me up and asked me was I willing to take the shot. And I said yes, because if not, I was going to go to Bourne just and get it done. So the City of St. Louis Department of Health worked closely with the St. Louis Affordable Housing Authority uh, to to contact those individuals um, who are elderly and live in affordable housing in the city of St. Louis. And so a lot of the critical work that was done was done by uh, Ms. Alana Green and her staff who've done an amazing job reaching, not only reaching out to the um, eligible individuals, but also get, making sure that they were able to get to their appointments today. Uh, they were not notified by phone and, um, and some were notified by email as well. So early on in the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw that the um, elderly were being disproportionately impacted by COVID-19, but particularly um, African-American elderly were being disproportionately affected. You know, the first 11 deaths in the city of St. Louis were African, elderly African-American individuals. And so we know that they are susceptible to not only being infected with SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, but they're also at risk for experiencing more severe complications of COVID-19. And so by making sure they have access to the vaccine gives them another tool in their arsenal to help protect them uh, from uh, complications associated with COVID-19.